Well, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Hope everybody is doing well. Having uh, quite the beautiful week here in Wisconsin. So it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, very lovely. Uh, it's day 205, Church in the Time of Quarantine. Uh, it is also October 8th. Uh, on this day in 1824, uh, Brigham Young, he married his first wife. Uh, he would marry 54 more um, after today, but today was wife number one, which I wonder, do you get do you get a set of china for every one of those weddings? Or, I don't know, what do you do about anniversaries? Seems like you'd be having one almost every day. Okay, but, uh, well, happy anniversary, wife number one for Brigham Young. Uh, 1918, uh, Corporal Alvin York uh, single-handedly captured 132 Germans and killed 25 during the uh, Meuse-Argonne Offensive in the First World War. And uh, he would be awarded, I think he got the Congressional Medal of Honor. It'll later be a movie, Sergeant York with Gary Cooper. Pretty good movie. You should watch it sometime. Uh, and in 1948, uh, Johnny Ramone, uh, guitarist and songwriter for the Ramones, he was born on this day. So happy birthday, Johnny. Uh, reminder, 9 o'clock, we've got the, uh, the work day here at, uh, here at church. So uh, please come to that. It, uh, it will be great fun for all. So look forward to seeing you there. That brings us to trivia. Our question yesterday was... Uh, on October 7th, 2003, what celebrity became the, uh, the governor of California? That was uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And uh, we had three right answers on that. Bonnie McCormick, John True, and Eric Bay all got that one right. So congratulations on your, uh, your knowledge of California celebrity governors. Um, yeah, Reagan was the other one I was thinking of, but that was a lot. 68. I think 68 he was the, maybe 66. No, 60, I, yeah, I can't remember. 66, that's when he was elected. Okay, so it was a while ago. Sorry for that trip down memory lane. Okay, uh, here's our trivia question for today. So on this day, October 8th, 1956, Don Larson pitched the only perfect game ever recorded in a World Series. So the question is, for which team did Don Larson pitch? You know that? Send that, uh, that answer on in. And... Uh, well, I'll be happy. Okay, so uh, today we have a little reflection from uh, Saint Augustine, the uh, the fifth century saint from North Africa, and then they later named a city in Florida after him. So he says this: We are to love everyone equally, but there is no way we can help everyone. There are many people, and the world is large. The ones we can do something for are the ones closest to us. It is almost as though they are chosen by lot. The desirable thing is that we should want everyone to enjoy God with us, whether we give or receive assistance. The goal is recognition of God. Entertainment fans enjoy being with other fans of a favorite star. They love each other not for who they are, but because they love someone together. The more captivated the fans, the more they wish many others would also share this affection. When people are unenthusiastic about their favorite star, those fans will try to excite a more positive response by pointing out the celebrity's special qualities. If someone actually dislikes the object of their affections, they will be troubled to the point of distraction. That is the way it is among those who love God. It is a love for God that makes it possible to love our enemies. We are not afraid of them because they are not able to take our, our love away from us. We feel sorry for them. The more they hate us, the more distant they are from the object of our love. If they turned to God and loved him, they would have to love us too. All right, well, there's St. Augustine, and we're going to end with uh, the collect for proper five. It says this, O God, from whom all good proceeds, grant that by your inspiration we may think those things that are right, and by your merciful guiding may do them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Have a great day, and uh, talk to you later.